Hi everyone. In this video, today let us discuss Granny Citron. What is this drug Granny Citron? The suffix Citron indicates that this drug is going to act on serotonin receptors and this drug acts as anti-emetic. We have few of the other drugs like Ondan Citron, Tropi Citron, all these are ending with the suffix Citron and they are classified as anti-emetics. These drugs are going to antagonize the 5-HT3 receptors which are inotropic receptors. Now Grand Citron can block this 5-HT3 receptors resulting in the reduced stimulation of CTJ thereby to reduce the nausea and vomiting. Particularly this drug is indicated in the conditions of CINV chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting. Many of the chemotherapeutic agents can produce the nausea and vomiting because of their bitterness and their toxic effects. Cisplatin is one of the drug which is neurotoxic and it can induce the nausea and vomiting. In such conditions, Granny Citron can be given to control the emesis. Similarly, in the radiation therapy during the cancer treatment, again the nausea and vomiting can be observed which can be controlled by Granny Citron. So today in this video, we are going to discuss how this drug is going to act, what are the important precautions that should be considered, which type of side effects are going to be produced, how it is given, what is the dosage, all these things we will discuss in this video. Now let us see how this drug acts. Within the GM mucosa, enterochromaffin cells are present which are going to store 5-HT. And these enterochromaffin cells are equipped with chemoreceptors. So any toxins present within the GA tract can stimulate these enterochromaffin cells. Now the toxins or any drugs which are highly bitter such as cisplatin, they can stimulate these chemoreceptors which results in the release of 5-HT from the enterochromaffin cells. Now this released 5-HT can activate the vagal afferent neurons. So this is one of the vagal nerve which is equipped with 5-HT3 receptors. Now the released 5-HT can act on these 5-HT3 receptors which results in the opening of sodium channels. So sodium can enter to produce depolarization. In this way vagal signal is going to be generated which is going to be transmitted to the vomiting center through chemoreceptor trigger zone. Similarly within the CTZ area post rema is again important for inducing the nausea and vomiting. Again, this area post is equipped with 5-HT3 receptors. Now, what are the 5-HT released at enterochromaffin cells can reach to the CTZ through the systemic circulation. Now, 5-HT can enter into the systemic circulation and it can act on 5-HT3 receptors. So, these receptors are again activated to produce the excitation and this signal is then transmitted to vomiting center to induce nausea and vomiting. In this way, 5-HT3 receptors play a key role in induction of nausea and vomiting at the vagal nerves as well as at the CTZ, particularly at area post -tema. Now, Granny Citron is one of the selective antagonists for these 5-HT3 receptors. It can block the 5-HT3 receptors at the vagal afferent neurons so that it can inhibit the vagal activation. Similarly, it can block the 5-HT3 receptors at the area post such that it can inhibit the activation of CTJ. By these two actions, Grand Citron can reduce the nausea and vomiting. In this way, Grand Citron acts as anti-emetic, so it can reduce the chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting as well as any radiation therapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Now, let us the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of Granny Citron. Here we can observe one of the heterocyclic ring system. Let us give the numbering. This is 1, 2, 3. So this is a 2 nitrogen containing 6 plus 5 member ring system which is nothing but indazole. So Granny Citron is a indazole derivative and it is having the amide function group at the third position. So we can write the suffix as indazole 3-carboxamide. Similarly, at the first position, it is having the simple methyl group, so 1-methyl. Now, on the nitrogen of amide, one bicyclorene system is present, so we can represent this as N-dash. 
then what is the numbering to this bicyclorane system? We have to start the numbering from bridge heads. So we can give the numbering like this. So simply it is a nine membered bicyclorane system with three carbons on one side, three carbons on other side and one atom within the bridge. So this is nothing but bicyclo 3.3.1 non n 3 il because it is attached by third position. Now nitrogen is present at the ninth position so we can write this as 9 as a and again ninth position methyl group is attached so 9 methyl that is a complete name of granicitrone. What are the precautions? Granicitron is one of the antiemetic, but it is not like other antiemetics such as domperidone and metoclopramide. Domperidone and metoclopramide are the prokinetic drugs, but granicitron is not going to affect the GM motility. It is not increasing the GM motility. So this drug should be carefully given in the patients with any gastric distension where the enlargement of colon results in the gastric distension and decrease in the GM motility. In such conditions, granicitron cannot increase the GM motility, so it should be carefully given. Particularly after the surgery, any gastric distension observed in the patients or obstruction of colon may result in the nausea and vomiting. In such conditions, granicitron can reduce the vomiting reflex, but it cannot improve the GM motility as well as it cannot remove the obstruction. So in such patients, this granicitron is not useful as it is not affecting the GM motility. Another important precaution is that this drug can increase the QT interval within the ECG, so it can increase the risk of cardiac arrhythmias. So in the patients with any existing cardiac arrhythmias, granicitron should be carefully given. Similarly with other drugs such as class 3 antiarrhythmic agents like amiodarone, sotalol which can increase the QT interval within the ECG. With such drugs, granicitron should be carefully given as this combination may result in fatal cardiac arrhythmias. Similarly, when this drug is combined with other drugs such as SSRIs or SNRIs, select two serotonin reuptake inhibitors or serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. For instance, we have the drugs such as fluoxamine, fluoxetine, citraline, venlafaxine. Similarly, MAO inhibitors such as phenylgine, isocarboxate, tranylcipromine and if you have the other drugs like fentanyl, lithium, tramadol, all these drugs can increase the 5-ST levels within the CNS. So, when they are combined with granicitron, they can precipitate serotonin syndrome. So, these drugs should be carefully given with granicitron and any symptoms such as tachycardia, increased anxiety, hesitation, psychotic symptoms such as hallucinations, muscle spasms, tremor. If any of these symptoms are observed in the patients, then serotonin level should be checked and development of serotonin syndrome should be closely monitored. What are the side effects? Granicitron can produce some headache, gastrointestinal side effects such as dyspepsia, diarrhea, abdominal pain, asthenia, lack of energy, Somnolence, some sleepiness can be observed. It can also produce some insomnia, dizziness, hypersensitive reactions such as rashes can be observed. Other side effects mainly include alopecia, loss of hair, anemia, anorexia, loss of appetite can also be observed with this granicitron. How it is given? This drug is available as tablet at a strength of 1 mg. It is also available as oral solution at a strength of 2 mg per 10 ml. And it is also available as IV solution and patches. So based on the doses form, the dose is going to be given. As a tablet, it can be started at a dose of 2 mg given once daily. And as a solution, it can be given as 10 ml which contains 2 mg of the drug again given once daily. So just before the cancer chemotherapy, this drug can be given as once daily preparation. Otherwise, this drug can be given as 1 mg twice daily just before the chemotherapy and after 12 hours of chemotherapy, again this drug can be given at a dose of 1 mg. So, the total daily dose is 2 mg. 
Similarly, the sol solution can be given as 5 ml which contains 1 mg of the drug again given twice daily just before the chemotherapy and again after 12 hours of chemotherapy. In this way, this drug is given at a dose of 2 mg per day to control the nausea and vomiting that is produced by chemotherapeutic agents or by any radiation therapy. So that's about this drug Granicitron. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.